we know that security begins with layers of protection and an alarm certainly is a layer of protection. Uh, the doors and the windows need to be um, reinforced. Uh, the doors themselves uh, need to be solid core. Generally a uh, fireproof or steel door is most effective, one that doesn't have any windows. Uh, and then the windows themselves of course need to be locked and there's um, shatter guard type window film that is always um, another layer of protection of the windows themselves that uh, prevents the bad guy from breaking the window and getting in in most cases. Uh, but here is um, door security brace. You might see door uh, security plates or door security bars. Uh, but ultimately this is door reinforcement. And the idea behind the on guard is that uh, it's mounted on the floor and it prevents uh, the bad guy from kicking in the door uh, so the door is locked. Uh, this is on the floor and the bad guy will have a hard time ever opening that door with this thing in place. And I'll show you more about how it works and uh, how to install it shortly. So here is a better look at the on guard, on guard uh, door security brace stops intruders in their tracks. It's made by global security experts and you can see uh, there's their website right there, global security experts. And this device right here is about uh, 10 inches long as you see and it um, looks like uh, two and a half inches wide and uh, this is uh, about three inches tall. And as you can see uh, these holes uh, are designed for these screws, looks like three inch screws and so it comes with a pilot bit that you drill into the floor right in front of the door and then these screws go in with your screw gun and it also comes with a um, Phillips head bit it's a, a thicker, flatter Phillips heads bit so that it won't strip these screws, that's a nice feature that they provide that for you. Now the device right here, uh, it's made out of a, an alloy steel. Um, you're not going to break this. Uh, this isn't going to, this isn't going to shatter um, right there. So this is obviously on the floor and uh, fits in like that. And uh, you can see that, I mean there's just no play there. It's just, this thing just isn't going anywhere. This thing up against the door is going to prevent the bad guy from kicking in your door. This is a really nice uh, piece of craftsmanship. It was invented by a guy named uh, Jordan Frankel. He is known as the security sensei and there's his contact information. Had a few nice conversations and email exchanges with him. Guy's the real deal, knows what he's doing, so check out his products online. Uh, see Jordan Frankel at GlobalSecurityExperts.com. All right. Let's see how this thing works. Okay, so this is my door, my solid core door. Uh, as you can see, it's a three-foot wide door. It has a peephole on it, no windows. Uh, that door, as is, is pretty strong. But uh, the problem with a door like this is that the only thing that prevents the bad guy from kicking it in is uh, well those two locks and if you uh, take a good look at what's going on here uh, it's really just that in that is really only what separates you from the bad guy in the course of a home invasion uh, looking at the strike plate uh, bad guy when he kicks hard enough right uh, could easily uh, push this thing out of its um, spot and break all this. This this easily can be broken I and mean, there's really not much right there keeping the bad guy from kicking in your door. Meanwhile the second lock, the doorknob, is an extra layer of security. Uh, if I you know put on some good boots and threw my 200 pound frame up against this door or a bunch of quick kicks I don't think it'd take me more than a minute or two to break this thing through. And uh, while uh, some suggest, you know, putting nice deep screws, you know, four inch screws right here to go deeper into the stud will slow the bad guy down. It might do that. But the screw itself is maybe only an, an eighth of an inch thick and, and it's just not going to take much for the bad guy to break your door in. 
So let's, let's uh, install the door security brace from OnGuard. So this is the OnGuard up against my door and what I'm going to do is mark the floor where it's going to end up going. Uh, I'll pull the OnGuard away and, um, and then I'll drill my pilot holes. And it's important to kind of put your hand on it, put a little bit of pressure on it uh, with the um, top part in place. You're going to mark the floor with a, a black marker or any color marker. Pencil on a hardwood floor doesn't really come out. Just mark it, right? And once it's all marked, and you can see, there's my marks. And then I'll drill those pilot bits. All right, so here we go, drill those pilot bits. Let's go right into the subflooring, like that's going deep. Some people might say, you know, do I really want to drill into my hardwood floors? Well, do you really want some home invader kicking in your door and doing bad things to you and your family? No. So now what I'll do is I'll, I'll clean this out, I'll put this back in place, and then I'll drill through. Once you've drilled your pilot holes, the next thing to do is start your screws by hand. Just kind of get them turned in so they're all generally in place, all relatively started. Maybe turn them a couple of times with the screw gun. Right? What you don't want to do is get them all, get one in all the way because then you end up with one offset and then you have to start all over again. You gotta start drilling new holes. So this way you get them started. Right? You know, it is wood and there's no absolutes here. Alright, started. Started as straight as possible. Alright, see that? Get them started. Okay. And then the last one. Now when you drill, you probably have a setting for one or two. Two is low. I'm sorry, one is low. So now it's Not all the way down with that one, but I'm close. Not all the way down, but close. What's nice about this bit and these screws is he's got a nice fat so they don't skip and they don't strip. Nice job, Jordan Frankel. Now, I'm going to go in with all of them, right? I'm going to set my drill so that it breaks the, it breaks at some point so it doesn't strip the screw. That was too low. Try 17. 17 did it, right? I'm going to go on this end. There you go. There you go. One more. That's it. And I'm done. So now that's in, right? And then it pops up nice. Look at it. Pops in nice. So now, if you look at my door, right? No one's opening that door. This, this is unlocked. All right, that's unlocked. And it's gonna take a lot for somebody to open up that door. They're just not gonna have to kick that door open. Nice job on God. Again, global security experts.com. Check them out.